Hello everyone, my name is Vitesh. I'm a final year student from Manipal International University and today I'm going to present my topic about rice husk biomass generated ecoenzyme as an effective non-chemical based surface sterilizer. Ecoenzyme is made from fermenting fresh kitchen trash like vegetable and fruit peel. The enzyme is also a proven bioremediatory used to clean environmental pollution. This is how the ecoenzyme is prepared whereby adding 300 of rice husk into the container, add 100 gram of brown sugar or molasses, fill the container with 100 ml of water and leave some air space for fermentation, place the container in a dry and well ventilated area whereby avoiding direct sunlight, extract out the liquid and leave only the residue, filter and fill into different bottle. This is done after the 3 months of fermentation and the ecoenzyme is ready to use. For the introduction, chemical based disinfectants used in the food industry usually contain alcohol and heavy metals that contribute to food safety issues. Excessive use of alcohol based disinfectant also can cause irritation by stripping away skin's natural oil. Rice is widely consumed food crop on earth, estimating consumption of around 500 million tons annually. Approximately 800 million tons of rice straw and husk are produced as residue bio waste. On the other hand, rice straws has been reported of owning antimicrobial properties against foodborne pathogen. Thus, the production of ecoenzyme from rice straw bio waste not only mitigates the pollution issues but also can serve as natural, non chemical based, safer surface sterilizer to be used in the food industry. As for the problem statement, the disadvantages of chemical based disinfectant usage in the food industry have necessitated the exploration of natural rice straw bio waste as a potential surface sterilizer. Proposed solution to prepare ecoenzyme made from rice husk straw, to evaluate the antimicrobial properties of the prepared ecoenzyme, and lastly to evaluate the ability of ecoenzyme as food surface cleaner against the European standard. So for the water break test, we're going to use three samples, which is the first one is the rice husk ecoenzyme, which is 100%, and then the second one is the lemongrass, which is also 100%, and lastly our dettol, which is the positive, positive control. Okay, to begin with, So as from the result, you can see that the rice husk ecoenzyme, it flows down easily. As for the lemongrass, it also flows down but not as smooth as the rice husk. And for the control which is using Dettol, it takes time to flow down. So for now, we're going to conduct the white glove test whereby we're going to use four samples lemongrass ecoenzyme which is in three types of or three different concentration 100%, 50%, 25%, 25%, the rice husk ecoenzyme which is in 100%, 50%, 55%, and also our control which is the Dettol, and one more control which is also known as the hand sanitizer which is prepared in 70%. So to begin with, we'll spray on the surface. So, taking the index finger, gently rub on the surface.
So the next test is the tape test, whereby we'll apply a 2 cm tape on the surface that is being sprayed with our samples as mentioned earlier, which is the rice husk, ecoenzyme, lemon grass, control which is using Dettol and also hand sanitizer and this will be placed on different type of concentration. With that, we can remove the tape and observe. There is no dirt on the tape. This is effective in all three types of concentration use. Same goes with the rice husk ecoenzyme too. This is the test obtained for wipe test. As you can see, rice husk in 100% can able to clean or even remove debris and also dirt in three types of fold, which is the one fold, two folds and three folds. The functionality, antimicrobial test was performed using the micro resolution method and gauging the minimal inhibitory concentration MIC. Foodborne pathogens tested were Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Staphylococcus aureus, Klebsiella pneumonia, Salmonella typhimurium and Astrichia coli. This was the procedure conducted on conducting antimicrobial test. These were the result obtained using five types of bacteria as mentioned. Moving on for the surface sterilizer evaluation test against the European standard, four tests are conducted which is the water break test, white glove test, wipe test and tape test. The purpose of referring the European standard is to help business and industry trade more easily within the European single market. Standards are developed by industry experts with the involvement of other interested parties such as social organization, academics and regulators. With that, we came to a conclusion on the test conducted to evaluate our rice husk biomass generated ecoenzyme as an effective non chemical based surface fertilizer. Thank you very much. For the originality, no effort has been made to generate ecoenzyme using bio waste such as rice straw previously. Rice has straw generated ecoenzyme has not been evaluated for its antimicrobial activity against foodborne pathogens and has not been tested as a potential use for food surface sterilizer in the food industry. For the cost effective, this is the budget placed for preparing 1 liter of ecoenzyme. Commercial potential whereby the use of food surface sterilizer in industries such as McDonald's, KFC, fast food chains, street hawkers where there is a high risk of foodborne pathogen contamination, domestic use for cleaning, cooking area and food surface.